What's up, family? Peace and blessings. Peace and blessings. You already know, man. You already know. It's Mark the Messenger. This one's a well-requested video asking me about, you know, Mark, you know, why does certain things happen in my dreams? Uh, let's say, let's say like a sin that you're struggling with all of a sudden the next day or like the next week after you have repented, you find yourself doing that in the dreams. And you got to always remember when the devil is attacking you, it is a good thing. Okay, let me explain this. The reason why it's a good thing, because a Satan does not bother those who are doing his will. Satan does not bother those who are on his side of the fence, okay, who are on his army, okay? God has his army, and the devil has his army too. So when you're getting attacked in your dreams, whenever like you repent and you get heavenly attacked, that must be a, a sign that you're a prized possession to God, and the devil doesn't like that. That must be that you could be a, a chosen one, or you could be called. Remember, many are called if you're chosen. The chosen are going to be the ones willing to walk that narrow path, be obedient, willing to give up anything that God tells them to give up to follow after Christ, okay? So always keep that in mind when you're going through these things I'm about to go over, that is a good thing, okay? The devil only bothers those who are, you know, walk, uh, who are walking with God, you know, trying to, you know, repent, live a life of repentance, trying to walk that straight narrow path. So let's get it, let's go. And this would be like a testimony too, guys, what things that I went through uh, on my walk, you know, with, you know, me getting attacked in my dreams, the game stages. I'm like, why is this happening? So I'm gonna explain exactly why it's happening. Okay, so number one, the number one sign the devil, the demons attack you in your dreams is because you have departed from your willful sin, okay? This is the number one thing, okay? Whenever you have repented, the devil gets mad. Even the Bible says, guys, that I'll leave a verse right here so you guys can see. It says that when a sinner repents, that even the angels in heaven rejoice, okay? So if the angels, if the heavenly angels are rejoicing, that means these fallen angels, these demons, these devils, they tremble, they get pissed off, they get mad. So guess what? They get mad at you. And they're going to try to do their best to drag you back to your sin. They're going to try to do your best to tempt you to plant seeds, okay? So always keep that in mind. When you have repented, and what is repentance, right? Because some people believe repentance is just crying, God, I'm sorry, and you keep on doing the same thing over again. That's not repentance. Repentance is when you, whatever sin that you're committing, that you fully give it up and you have no intention to do, do it again. I promise you, bro, when, whenever sin that you're struggling with and you depart from it, you could expect to get attacked in your dreams by the devil, by these demons. I'm telling you 100%. Okay, anyone who doesn't believe in spiritual warfare is because they haven't experienced it yet, okay? So always keep that in mind. When you have departed from your willful sin, you're going to expect, okay, like, like for me, right? When I was uh, struggling with pornography, when I first uh, learned that it was a sin, I gave that up. Within the first two weeks, I had like four wet dreams. I had so many sexual dreams. That's not a coincidence, okay? The minute I give that up, okay, the, the devil saw that I was giving that up. And I have never watched it again. It's been like almost five years now. The devil knew that I was never going to watch it again. So what does he do? He just tried to attack me multiple times, multiple times with wet dreams, the soul ties that I had with the certain individuals back in the days, you know, the lifestyle I was living, just getting demonically attacked, but I preserved, okay? I didn't give up, I didn't fold, I didn't like, okay, maybe I just have to do this, okay? I didn't feed into those thoughts, okay? So that's the number one sign, guys. The devil will attack you in your dreams because you have departed from your willful sin. You have repented. All right, number two. He is working through a demonic stronghold. Yes, okay, remember the Bible says we have, let's cast down, um, I'll leave a verse right here, cast down all imaginations. Uh, and, you know, so pretty much uh, how the devil works to a stronghold, right? Uh, let's say, for instance, okay, like you, you have repented. Now the war doesn't just, okay, you repented and that's over. No, you're going to have to fight, okay? And certain things that you were doing, the longer you were doing it for, the stronger the stronghold builds, okay? Just like you're building a house, right? Let's say the house I'm, I'm building it. The longer I'm building it, okay? So that means the stronger and the bigger it's going to become, right? The same thing when it comes to a demonic stronghold, okay? The more you feed into your sin, the stronger that sin becomes, the stronger that stronghold becomes. So now the, the next day doesn't just disappear. No, you have to fight it off. You got to start doing some fasting, start doing some praying, you know, building up your spirit, okay? And eventually, you know, through prayer and fasting, that uh, that demon or that demonic stronghold will flee from you, okay? So you guys got to understand this. Demonic strongholds, it works through people, uh, the people who had, a, who had a strong bondage to a certain sin, whatever the case may be, okay? And for those who don't know, because people ask me this too, like, Mark, how do I know it's a sin or not? You have to ask God, have a relationship, okay? Don't wait on Sundays to tell your pastor. Don't wait on me to reply to you back in the comments. You want to have a relationship with Jesus Christ and the, and the Father, so he, they could tell you, okay, it's why it's so important to have the Holy Spirit, because the Holy Spirit will teach you all things. The Holy Spirit must be the number one teacher in your life, okay, the Holy Spirit. Nothing wrong with going to your pastor or asking me in the comment section, but I'm just saying, make sure that 
the Holy Spirit is your number one teacher, okay? Because when the Holy Spirit is your teacher, you won't be led to confusion. You won't be confused, okay? So always understand that demonic strongholds must be cast down through prayer and fasting, okay? Number three, you're becoming stronger spiritually, okay? When, whenever you become stronger spiritually, there's one thing I noticed, guys. When I was on semen retention, for those who don't know what it is, it pretty much means to abstain from masturbation, pornography, and sex in, ge in general. Okay, so back then when I was on it, um, I noticed when I first got on it, I was four months in, I was feeling good, I was feeling great, and uh, I didn't feel any urges no more. Like, I felt like I was free, bro. I felt like I was, and whenever, like, you're, you're feeding your spirit, you feel more pure. And four months into it, I'm feeling good, feeling great. I can't think of me going back to my old ways, right? And out of nowhere, out of nowhere, I got a uh, sexual dream. Out of nowhere. And see, I was getting stronger spiritually. And like I always tell you guys, every new level you rise up in life, there will always be a new devil. It's, it's all part of this simulation. It's all part of this matrix we live in, okay? Every new level that God's taken to, there will always be a devil trying to pull you back down. Okay, uh, things that pop up three years ago, five years ago, will just manly just pop up back in your life. That's just a devil trying to bring you back down. Okay, so always keep that in mind. Whenever you're becoming stronger spiritually, you could expect to get attacked by the devil. Not just only in your dreams, too. Not just the dreams, but it is, does happen in your dreams, okay? Or in the physical realm, too. So always keep that in mind. Remember, the Bible says, submit yourself, therefore, to God. For is this the devil, and he shall flee from you. Okay, James chapter 4, verse 7 to 8. Okay, number 4 is... No longer given over to temptations. Yes, okay. So for the brothers who struggle, the brothers and sisters who struggle with pornography or masturbation, okay, you gotta understand that when you know, like, like it correlates to what I said before. When you're not giving over to those things, when you feel free from those type of things, now you're gonna start to get, you know, the devil's just that plant seeds of wickedness in your dreams for you to have, you know, intercourse, for you to have uh, intercourse with the succubus, intercourse with the incubus, okay, the succubus being for the men. And the incubus being for the women. It's not a coincidence why this happens. When you're no longer giving over to your temptations, you could expect to get these demonic dreams where Satan's trying to get you to sin. Whenever you're sinning in your dreams, okay, whenever you're doing something that doesn't correlate with the Bible, doesn't correlate with righteousness, that is a demonic attack, 100%, 100%, okay? Some people believe that having intercourse in your, in your dreams is godly or it's good to have, uh, you know, this could be, people make so many excuses, no, there's nothing godly or holy or righteous about you having sex in your dreams. That is a succubus, that is an incubus, okay? God did not intend for you to have all these uh, intercourse in your dreams. That's in the real world, okay? So always understand when you're going to sleep, that is the spiritual realm. You're now in tune with the spiritual realm, okay? Whether you believe it or not. All right, number five is nighttime, more prone to spiritual attacks, okay? Even Jesus says in John chapter 11, verse 10, I'll leave the verse right here. It says, a man who walks in the night stumbled, okay? So at nighttime is more prone to spiritual attacks. Some people say that at nighttime is a witch hour where witches are doing witchcraft, playing with spells. And I'm not saying that they don't do that, but the Bible talks about spiritual warfare. It's all day, 24 seven, okay? Not to say that at nighttime, there is, an, there, there is an increase in spiritual warfare. I agree with that 100%, especially in your dreams, okay? So always keep that in mind, guys, When the why the devil is attacking your dreams, it's this right here, okay? These are things that I learned through my testimony, through my testimony that I can strengthen and empower you guys through the hard times that I went with, that I, that I, I battled with, and I know that through, you know, things that I went through, this can help you guys out, this can help you guys out too. Out as to what I can't even talk about. The main thing, guys, is to repent. And be holy, be set apart. And yes, you're, and even when you're doing that, the devil's going to try to find loopholes. He's going to try to take you off the path that God has placed you on, the path being the narrow path. But don't be afraid. Don't fret not. You know, remember, when the devil's attacking you, that is a good thing, okay? That is, when, he, when he's not attacking you, leaving you alone and everything is going good, you have all these friends and everyone, the world loves its own and the world, every, the world loves you, that's when you should worry. That's when you should, you know, be afraid, okay? Because the devil only attacks those who are called and chosen. So I love you guys so much. If you made this far, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel. And if you guys wish, wish to support me, my links are down below in the description below. I love you guys so much. I'm out. Peace.